So as you can see, we've moved locations from our booth to a little bit more intimate setting here with some coffee. Um, and I'm happy to be here joined by Dr. Sing, uh, Sing Young Yu, who is a retinal specialist in South Korea. Uh, she also organized the APAO meeting in Busan just a few years back, and will be organizing the APVRS in Seoul coming up. So thanks very much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you know, it's interesting. We're, we're here in the last session of the day talking with you. And, um, you know, I, I'd like to just explore a few different topics about women in ophthalmology mm -hmm. here. Um, you were noting that some of the challenges uh, relate to family mm -hmm. as a woman ophthalmologist. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. So, I have one son. Yeah. I wanted to have more, but at that time I was uh, in a training program, so I could not have more. And my husband and I decide to have only one because we don't have time to, how can I say, care of the many children. And after that, um, I ha I'm a woman doctor. Yeah. I'm working at the university. Mm. I have to, I have a education job. I have some kind of this meeting. Mm. And also I have to take care of my son. I have to give him a, um, a dry, driving, drive. Yeah. And I have to schedule his um, sports, private academy and school. Okay. So it was a hard so. Interesting. And you were saying earlier that really it was support from your sisters who were also oh, professionals, yeah. a professor, yes. um, another doctor I believe as mm -hmm. well. Um, and, and really you've, you've relied on your sisterhood to make it through. Yeah, yeah. So we, so we know each other very well and then we know the situation. So we help each other a lot. So if I, if I am late or if I were in abroad, so my sister usually picked my son from the school and then took care of him. So it worked very well. I have two sisters. That's great. Mm -hmm. And you were saying that nowadays there's there are more uh, female ophthalmologists in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps when you were starting to become an ophthalmologist, there were fewer. Much. <laughs> um, why did you decide to, to become an ophthalmologist um, knowing it would be so challenging? Uh, actually, in my age, uh, just only 10% of all students were women. Mm. So my class size was 150 mm. and there's just only 15 women doctor. And then at that time, I don't have many choices. Okay. And, and one, one reason is that. And the other reason, I think uh, ophthalmology is a good department um, which women can try mm. because there's a, some surgery and there's some delicate thing because we have to, how can you say, feel uh, how patient feel through their sight. So I think it's a good part which women can try. That's great. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, we were also talking a little bit about the advantages of being a woman mm -hmm. ophthalmologist. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, empathy with patients oh, yeah. as being um, a great thing compared mm -hmm. to the male competition, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, we even were, were chatting a little bit about style <laughs> and how um, women may be at a little bit of, at, at greater liberty to, mm -hmm. to dress uh, in a way that isn't so robotic oh, yeah, uh, yeah. as men with their suit and ties. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Um, so, so there are some advantages to being a woman ophthalmologist to, to stand out and uh, make your mark. Yeah, right. Uh, so I don't need to wear a tie, first thing. I yeah. don't need to wear a jacket, and then I don't need to wear the shirt. So it's a good. So I can, how can I say, make the style for me. Yeah. I don't need to wear just regular thing yeah. so that's the good thing style right. so and the other thing is the shoes 
right? And I don't know if we can uh, zoom in on the shoes here, but we've got uh, some sneakers, but have been, have been leveled up with these um, a sparkling of, thing. Yeah. So, yes. so I I don't think men doctor can wear this kind of things. Right. Funny thing, but I can wear it, and then I have some. How can I say? Hide. Um, heels inside, right? But man cannot wear uh, this kind of things. Like I think that's the advantage. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess for marketing purposes, if a patient is is coming into your clinic, uh, they're going to be amazed by you. Uh, usually, I wear um, sneakers uh -huh. at the sports sneakers. Yeah. At, yeah. At, at the clinic, so oh. they cannot see this kind ah, of stuff. Okay. So usually these things for the meeting. <laughs> sure, for networking at APAO. Yeah, yeah, also yes, good, right. very good. Mm -hmm. oh. um, you know, nowadays in South Korea, I'm curious as to the advantages or disadvantages, though, of, of women generally in ophthalmology. You mentioned that there were a few department heads in South Korea who are women. Uh, does that remain to be a challenge in South Korea to, if you're a female ophthalmologist, become a department head? I think there's some, um, because uh, the age of uh, department head, at that time, uh, there's a little number of women doctor who are in our field. Mm. But right now, the young doctor, there's a, uh, the proportion is like I think 40 to 60 or 50 to 50, the women yeah. and men. So uh, soon, there are many women department chair in South Korea. I think actually the medical field is good, a uh, good field because I think the discrimination between men and women a little bit lower than other part. Yeah. Uh, however, at that time, there's a um, little number of women were in ophthalmology area, so the number of women chair is is. Uh, pretty lower than the man chair in yeah. South Korea right now and I think the most uh, hardest thing um, to me right now so I'm I am getting older mm -hmm. and I am uh, getting uh, I have to lead my training doctors and junior doctors and most of them are man yeah. so um, I am struggling with um, how can I say I, 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 I really want to be a good uh, senior doctor yeah. but it's really hard to me as a woman doctor mm. it's hard to explain in put in a word mm. uh, but I think um, so we don't see many um, woman prime minister or woman president of the uh, university. So I think it's hard to be a senior doctor as a woman. Oh. So I'm so sorry my language barrier. I cannot <laughs> put this in a sentence, but I, I, I think it's something like that. Well, you know, the, your, your mention of language barrier is mm -hmm. absolutely appropriate because you, you're also talking about how um, being a woman, raising mm -hmm. a family, mm -hmm. it gives you less time to work on a language such as English right. uh, compared to your husband mm -hmm. who right. would have more time to do that. So that, that's right. a bit of a disadvantage, I suppose. It does a big disadvantage. Mm. Actually, yeah. uh, so I spent three years in the United States to study and two years in Boston and one year in Stanford. Mm -hmm. At that time, my husband can go, uh, could go out and then he can spend time with their international, uh, his international friends. Yeah. But I had to um, take care of my son at yeah. home. So I just turn, turned on the TV program and that's that all thing I, I could do. Mm. So, mm. and and so that I cannot, I, I could not have a practice time. Mm. 
So again, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, I really appreciate you joining us for a bit of coffee and talk of these uh, issues of women in ophthalmology. Thank you for having me, and I enjoyed the talk. Thank you. Thanks.